Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the binomial nomenclature which is created by Carolus Linnaeus in 1758. Okay, so now let's discuss about this binomial nomenclature. So at first we have to know what is nomenclature. So nomenclature is a system which is responsible for giving name to an organism. So it is a system for giving name to an organism. So nomen means name and clear means to call so it is a nomenclature so nomenclature means to call by name okay so now let's come to the binomial nomenclature what is binomial nomenclature so in name we can see that the by so by means two so it is a two naming system the organism will will have two naming systems so this is and also it is a method of giving scientific name to organisms so it gives the scientific name to the living organisms and every species has two part scientific name the first is the genus name and the species name so they have two part two naming system that is the genus and species name so this binomial nomenclature of scientific names has two part naming system so the first part indicates the genus name and the second part indicates the species name okay so here we can see this is the example Escherichia coli so it is a microorganism and this Escherichia is the genus name of this organism and this coli means it is a species name of this organism so in this way the bi binomial nomenclature is introduced or scientific names are introduced in this two naming system okay so now let's discuss about why we need binomial nomenclature so what is the importance what is the importance of binomial nomenclature so to classify each organism with a single universally accepted name so one organism should have only one single universally accepted name that's why the binomial nomenclature is introduced okay so now why scientific names are important so the common names so because the common names can be confusing to scientists because the same organism may have different common names like example puma panther mountain lions all are the same animals but they are all of the same animals but their names are different that is a puma panther mountain lion all are the puma corn color but their common names are different so it is a confusing to scientists to give their names okay to study about them so it is a it is a um, confusing that's why the scientific names are used that is the single universally accepted one name is given to the animals or plants or the organisms more specifically okay so different and also different species also different species may share a single common name different species also may share a single common name like like buzzard the vulture and hawk both are the uh, the buzzard is the single name and but they are two species their uh, common name is buzzard but they are different species that is the vulture and hawk so it is also confusing to scientists to study about them or research about them so that to uh, to remove this confusion the scientific names are given to the organism that is a single universally accepted name okay so this is the importance of giving the scientific names or the binomial nomenclature so now let's discuss about the rules of binomial nomenclature so what are the rules of this nomenclature so the first is the each scientific name has two parts that is the first is the generic name that is the genus name and the second part is the specific epithet or the species name so one organism should have a two naming system that is the genus name and the species name for example for house crow the scientific name or the binomial nomenclature is corvus splendens so corvus is the genus name and the splendens is the species name okay so the next rule is uh, all the scientific name of organism are as usually in latin so hence they are written in italics okay so it is the second point or second rule third rule is the uh, when the names are handwritten when we write the name in hand they are they should be in underlined the uh, scientific name should be underlined okay or if it is typed then it should be in italic so it is done by specific 
so it is uh, this is done to specify its latin origin okay so the name and the last rule is the name of the genus starts with a capital letter and the name of the species should be start with a small letter so here we can see that the corvus that is the genus name it start with the capital letter c okay and the species name that is splendens start with the small letter s so this is the rule that is the genus name should be in capital letter and small and the species name should be start with the small letter okay so these are the rules of binomial nomenclature or the scientific names okay so next thing is the international code for biological nomenclature so what is the international code for binomial nomenclature so it is a uniform set of principles uniform set of principles for naming the organism it is a uniform set of principles for naming the organism so there are two international codes which are agreed upon by all the biologists over the entire world for naming protocol okay so first is the international code of botanical nomenclature that is the icbn which is which deal with the bio biological nomenclature for plants so it gives the it gives scientific names to the plants okay and international international code of zoological nomenclature that is the iczn deals with the biological nomenclature of animals so it gives the scientific name to the animals so these codes make sure that each organism gets a specific name and that name is globally globally identified and that single name should be in globally identified okay so this is the international code for binomial nomenclature and the next topic is why this latin language why this why this scientific name or binomial nomenclature is written in lang latin language why it is in latin language why latin language is chosen so reason behind choosing this latin language because it is a dead language so what is dead language so dead language means which is no longer in use so there is no scope for any kind of modification in the language so it will remains as it is the scientific name will be same as it is okay so that's why uh, so to to reduce or remove the modification in this scientific names that's why it is used this latin language is used okay so next thing is the trinomial system so what is trinomial system so here we will see the trinaming system or we here we can see but in binomial nomenclature we see that is the genus name and species name but in trinomial system we will see the genus name species name and also added it is the subspecies name so for example for lion that is the panthera leo parsica parsica is the subspecies name so it is given by the lamarck given by lamarck so it is created so why it is given so why this trinomial system is introduced so it is created because it is found that there are some differences seen in the organisms within the species within the species some differences are shown in many organisms so that's why the subspecies is also added to differentiate them to differentiate those species within to differentiate the organism within the species their uh, subspecies is added to this name to differentiate them so for example the scientific name of the lion is panthera leo but there are many of the lion found in different countries with some minor changes or minor differences in their characteristics many lions in the different countries show different characteristics so the third name the third that is a subspecies name is introduced to differentiate those organ those uh, different uh, those characteristic or different characteristics of the lions okay so that's why this trinomial system is added okay so the next thing the last topic is the tot totonyms so, so what is totonyms so when the genus name and species name are same then it is called the totonyms so totonyms are accepted in animals but not accepted in plants so for example gorilla 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 so that is the first is the genus name second is the species name and third is the subspecies name so the total all the uh, species subspecies and genus name is 
gorilla so when this genus name and species name are same then it is called the totonym so it is a totonym okay so these are all about this binomial nomenclature system okay thank you for watching this video